I'm gonna act like my hair doesn't look like a hot mess. <laughs> Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the best primers and setting sprays of 2018. That's pretty much it. There's not much need for a long intro. Pretty self-explanatory. So, so if you're excited to see what my favorite setting sprays and primers are of 2018, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to start off with the primers. First off, Smashbox Primer <laughs> First off, Smashbox Primer Water is everything okay I use this every single day before I do my makeup it is just pretty much the first step like after I've done all my skincare moisturizer everything like that I sit down do my makeup I spray so much of this like an abundant amount all over my face and I'll let that kind of sink in and then I'll go in with my primers blah 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 so yeah this is just kind of like the first it's like my go-to first step for priming the skin. I feel like it really hydrates and if there's any like dry patches, it kind of helps to diminish that a little bit, you know, if you forgot to exfoliate. I feel like this just really helps. And it, I feel like it's good for both oily and dry combination, normal skin. I feel like it's good for everyone all across the board. So highly recommend this. And like I really was like, why do I need like a water for my face? But it's just, you have to try it to understand because now I understand. So. <laughs> so I have like three kind of radiant type primers, um, kind of primer mix-in type options that I've really just loved um, throughout the year. Okay, first off is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. This stuff is amazing. It is a, it's called a radiant protective veil and it does give your skin just a nice radiance. So I will use this and then I normally will go in with like a more pore filling primer. It just really helps give your skin like a nice glow and kind of brightens the skin. It also does have um, SPF, yeah, it has SPF 30 in it too. So it's a good, you know, kind of two for one type deal. Um, if your moisturizer that you use doesn't have SPF or your foundation, so yeah, this kind of works a little bit of everything for you. Yeah, it says that it creates a radiant finish under or over makeup. I wouldn't use it over makeup. That's just me personally. I like to use it under my makeup. But yeah, like say that you want to use a more matte foundation, this will help to kind of bring the glow out from underneath it to where you don't look too matte. So really like this. And I love the packaging. I feel like it's just like really pretty, like ombre. I don't know. And then these are kind of similar, these two. Um, this is the Catrice Light Correcting Serum Primer in the shade Candlelight. This is just one of those to add radiance to the skin before you put on your foundation. Or um, in my case, I like to put this on before I do like pore filling primers. So this is kind of, after my primer water, I'll put on like a radiant primer. If I know I'm gonna be going in with a more mattifying foundation, I don't wanna to look too flat. So um, this comes in like a dropper form. Um, you're supposed to shake it really well. And it's just, it adds just a really nice glow to the skin, like the nice luminosity. It's not glittery, not shimmery, nothing like that. Um, and I know they have another shade. I think it's sunlight. It's more of like a bronzy type shade. This is more of just kind of a like a cream pearlescent shade. It's just it's really really nice, um, and it does not break my skin out. It just really adds a nice glow. And um, pretty much, I'm honestly gonna say this is almost the same thing. Um, this is the Physicians Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. It says it has age-defying actives, whatever that means. I'm not totally sure. I'm not really sure what that means exactly, but it's, um, it has a nice little pump. I really like the packaging of it, but it's pretty much similar to the, like similar to the um, Catrice one. I know the Catrice one is a little uh, cheaper. So if you don't wanna, this one's I think maybe 12, 13. This one's like seven. So, you know, it's kind of up to you. <laughs> But they're both like just really nice and add a nice glow under other primers or foundation, whichever way you prefer to do that. So, talking a lot with my hands, I apologize. It's like midnight. Oh wait, it's 12.30. And these next three are more pore filling primers because um, I do have quite enlarged pores. Um, unfortunately, that's just the cards that I was dealt. Thank God they make primers like this because they just help your skin look so smooth. They literally fill in your pores and just give a perfect base for your foundation. So the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer, everything. It's like Facetune in a 
bottle. I kid you not, you guys. So if you have not tried this, I really highly, highly recommend it. Yes, it is pretty pricey. That's the only thing I dislike about it, but I am, I'll be the first one to say it is completely worth your money. Um, this has lasted me about a year. I think it's about, it's almost out. Um, you do not need like a lot at all though. It's very thick. And what I do is kind of like press it into the skin and it literally fills in your pores. And I really only use this like in my, where my pores are enlarged, which is like my cheeks. Um, a little bit down here on my chin and like around my nose area. I try not to use these on my nose. I've actually found that when I don't use more like silicone based pore filling primers on my nose that my foundation sticks better. So I've not really been using these on the nose area, but everywhere else where the pores are large and in charge, this bad boy comes in handy. Love it. It's been a go-to for a long time, definitely 2018. Taking it with me in 2019 and gonna have to repurchase. So um, this is kind of a, I don't wanna say a dupe because it doesn't do as good of a job as the Smashbox um, pore minimizing primer, but this is the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner. It says for invisible pores and lines kills pores. So it's another pore filling primer. It's a little bit um, different of a texture. It's kind of like a moussey texture. It feels really nice. It's just not as pore filling as the Smashbox one, but you pay, you know what I mean? You get what you pay for with this one. It still works. It's just not as intense as the Smashbox one, but this one's like, what, $6? And that was like 36. So turn out to you and your budget. Um, whatever you prefer to spend, but I really like this one too. And again, I have very sensitive skin and none of these break me out at all. I haven't had any issues, so it's another little FYI there. This is one that I really like fell in love with when I first used it and I've just continuously used it since then. This is the No, um, this is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. This is a very nice pore filling primer as well. Like it's kind of mattifying, but then again, it's kind of, it feels like kind of moisturizing and smoothing at all at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. It just has a really nice texture on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, and I really like the packaging too. It's like a frosted glass bottle. It's a really pretty like pink color. I don't know, which is super cute. I like the aesthetic of the bottle, I guess. And the, I don't know, it's just really nice. Um, and you only need like a very small amount and I really, really like this. And I feel like it does help with the longevity of my makeup as well. I don't want to say like it moisturizes my skin, but it definitely doesn't dry it out like some, you know, other like silicone type primers do. This one is, I feel like this could be good for both, you know, dry and oily skin. So love it. Last but not least for the primers, this is the MVP of 2018 for primers. Okay, um, the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is literally everything that I've ever wished for dreamed of in a primer. It has like amazing skincare benefits. It smooths everything out on your skin. It like fills your pores. It feels like it moisturizes. It just, all of your flaws are pretty much erased. Like that's what I feel like this primer does. It's seriously magic. And the smell, oh my gosh, you guys. And I know it's expensive. I know, I know it's expensive. Like yeah. I like to shop, I like to spend money, but when it comes to makeup, I like to find the best deal. If I can find a drugstore, you know, product that works as well as high-end, then trust me, I would definitely go for the drugstore over the high-end, save you money. And I definitely can tell this does help with the longevity of my makeup. It seriously makes your skin look kind of like face-tuned, um, along with like the Smashbox one, but this one just has so many more skincare benefits to it, because Tatcha, you know, is like a turned out as like a skincare line. So um, you really only do need a small amount. I just choose to go a little overboard on it because I feel like it's just that good and it makes all my foundations look just flawless like you have a filter on your face, okay? Just buy it and thank me later. Now onto setting sprays. This is one, it's kind of like a runner up, I guess you could say. Um, this is a Derma Blend Set and Refresh Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I really like how it does like set my makeup and kind of melt everything together um and it really does help like the longevity of the makeup and it helps to make it last but i don't really like is like the um i don't like like the mist on it i wish it was a little bit more of a fine mist but it really does help your makeup stay on longer and melt everything together so i mean it does what it says it's just just the mister on it 
that's the only thing. So that's gonna be, that's like a runner up, but it's still, it's still good, okay? Just, and you get quite a bit. You get 3.4 fluid ounces, so that's pretty good. Definitely good, but I wish they would redo the spritzer on it. That would be, that'd be really nice. Uh, this is from the drugstore. This is from Milani. This is the Make It Last setting spray. I feel like this is a fairly close dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter, but it really does help make your makeup stay in place. Like, it's really, really good. Um, it's affordable. It says it has a 16 hour wear time. I really like the mister on it. Like it's not too, you know, boom in your face and helps your makeup last longer, sets everything in place and does what it says. So, and it's drugstore affordable. And this is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Thanks to the Taylor, I have fallen in love with this. This stuff is amazing. Gives your skin such a beautiful glow. Seriously, like it's just, the dewiness without looking oily. I don't know how they did it and how they made it like six, seven, eight dollars. I don't know, but please continue to do it because it's so good. <laughs> and I don't know what I would do without it. So I know it's sometimes a little bit hard to find on Ulta's website because it's always sold out, but if you can get it, get your hands on it. It's just so good. Be sure that you shake it really well too. So, so yeah, sometimes like if I'm wearing like a mattifying foundation, I feel like it looks a little bit too flat. You just throw a little bit of the dewy setting spray on there and you guys it is life is good at that point and then of course the urban decay all nighter setting spray i've not yet got a full size bottle i did just get like a travel size because i wanted to make sure that i liked it before i committed to a full bottle honestly i don't know if i need a big bottle of it because i don't use it as often as my others because i don't really have much going on to where i know that i need my makeup to be on locked and loaded for like 20 hours you know what i mean <laughs> like i feel like that's when you need this like your wedding day you're in a wedding i don't find myself having to reach for this as often but this is definitely one that i do go for when i need to know that my makeup is not going anywhere like it's gonna stay in place all day all night even the next day until i take it off pretty much so that is what this setting spray is good for but again the travel size works for me because i don't have to use it as often as my other day-to-day -day setting sprays. So my favorite like holy grail setting spray of 2018 is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. When I bought it, I used it the first time and it was one of those products that, boom, fell in love. Like it's everything that everyone said it was and then some. I was like, this is just too hyped up. It can't be that good. No, <laughs> it is that good. Like the mister on it, oh, I just love it. Like. It's like an aerosol can. Like, why does why did no other company think about that? Like, hold up. The smell. It just melts everything in together. Like all your makeup just blends so well together. You can put as little as you want on. You can put as much as you want on. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna look. You're not gonna have little droplets all over your face. It's just so good, and it's like refreshing. It has a very nice scent to it. Um, I went ahead and got another one because I was like, I can't run out of this. I run out, we're gonna have problems. So um, yeah, I always have one on backup because I, I just I have a fear of running out of this stuff. <laughs> just don't want it to happen, okay. I will say this one, I don't think really improves like the longevity of your makeup. Compared to like the All Nighter and the Milani Make It Last, like this doesn't help as much with the longevity of my makeup because um, you know, with oily skin, I, I can tell that it does seem to get a little bit more oily more quickly than I'm using the other one, like a more oil control setting spray. But this one is just a good like every day that you're out and about. Like it's just, it's just really good you guys. Like Morphe, I see you, I love you. Please don't ever change anything about this. It is everything that I've ever wanted in a setting spray that I didn't even know that I needed really, you know, like an aerosol can. Who, who would have thunk it? I didn't. I wish I would have. I just have no words. One of those things that's hyped up for a reason. Okay, and then along with kind of like the setting sprays and I do always carry some blotting papers with me throughout the day. I always carry these NYX matte blotting papers with me. They do a really good job of just soaking up that excess oil if you're oily like me. <laughs> And they don't, you know, mess up your makeup whatsoever. They don't move it around or anything like that. They really just soak up the oils and they do a really good job. I think I got these at Ulta. Do you like my shirt? It says, 
be the person your pet thinks you are. I think we should all live by that. My pets think that I'm like Santa Claus. I just, I love the shirt. Target, in case you're wondering. Okay guys, so that wraps up my best of primers and setting sprays of 2018. I hope that you all enjoyed this. Let me know down below in the comments what some of your favorite setting sprays and primers are. I would love to hear. I love trying new ones. So I think I say that in every video about every single makeup item, but I love trying new makeup in general. So yeah, let me know what some of you all's favorites are. And if you're not already, please don't forget to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. That means so much to me. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That also helps me to know that you enjoy my content that I'm putting out. I hope you all are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.